hey, what's up? It's me, Biff Baxter, here on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I can't tell if I've got a hangover or if my head is just aching from that SSD. So before we jump into the news, let's talk about abuse in the workplace here at Motherboards.org. I want you all to contact NAFTA or the CDC because there's been a complete epidemic of hostilities here at Motherboards.org. If you guys didn't see it, that crazy bastard Elric, he thinks he's a freaking ninja and he threw an SSD down the hallway trying to give somebody some kind of Kung Fu lesson and it hit me in the head. So contact the proper authorities. Beyond that, first up in the news, we have some pretty interesting stuff. You guys have all heard the rumors about Ivy Bridge. Well, the people over at Bright Side of News, they've been able to take the Ivy Bridge processor, this is the i3770, they've been able to overclock it to over seven gigahertz. The standard clock speed on this one is 3.5 gigahertz. Now these guys use dry ice, which people won't be able to use at home, but it does show some outstanding possibilities with the new Ivy Bridge processors for the overclockers out there. Next up, I've got three letters, W, T, F. Why am I saying this? Microsoft, have you been out smoking, drinking, partying up? Who do you think you are, Biff? Come on, eight versions of Windows 8 are coming out. These are the eight versions right here. Let me name them off for you. Windows 8 Enterprise Edition. Windows 8 Enterprise Eval Edition. Windows 8 Home Basic Edition. Windows 8 Home Premium Edition. Windows 8 Arm Edition. I think this is more like the Strong Arm Edition. Windows 8 Professional Edition. Windows 8 Professional Plus Edition. Windows 8 Starter Edition. And finally, Windows 8 Ultimate Edition. WTF, Microsoft? What are y'all thinking? Eight versions? People can't make up their mind whether to buy a cheeseburger and you want them to choose eight versions of Windows 8? Ah! Next up in the news. Now, I know you PC guys could really give a duck about what's going on with Mac stuff, but it's going to be pretty interesting. Next week, Apple will announce their new iPad 3. It's rumored to have a quad-core processor, 4G and LTE capabilities, and the biggest thing about it is its new screen. It's going to have a 2048 by 1536 retina display. This is going to be the most intense feature about this entire thing. And for those looking about high tech technology, whether you give a duck or not, this is going to be something you're going to want to check out next week from the people at Apple. Last up in the news, it's been a chilly, chilly cold day in hell for the people over at Blizzard. Blizzard has officially laid off 600 of their employees. Now, only 10% of these employees actually come from the gaming division. That's about 60 people, and none of them are from the world of Warcraft. So for fans of those out there, you got nothing to worry about. What they say is they basically got too many employees. They have an overstaff, and they had to let 600 people go. So hell hath froze over over there at Blizzard. I feel bad for those people, condolences to all you folks out there, but they're supposedly got great severance packages, and so that's the end of it. Best of luck to everybody, this is Biff Baxter, and I'll see you folks next week for another edition of Kung Fu News.